What's going on everyone? Yours truly Slicks here, bringing that heat on a controversial topic that I think is gonna piss off quite a few people, but hey, you know, that's me, it's what we do, so let's get to the topic at hand. For the record, I'll start this video by saying that I have never taken steroids in my life, nor do I ever plan to take steroids in my life, unless there's some type of like serious medical issue or it will be the remedy to some type of serious illness that I may get later in my life or something like that because I do know there are some medical reasons to take steroids or be prescribed steroids or whatever. If it's for an actual legitimate reason, then I would understand taking steroids. But now, I don't see any reason to ever take steroids. So just so that you guys know, I've never taken steroids, never will take steroids, and, but for some reason, I've been accused of taking steroids a few times here on YouTube, but of course, it's just some trolls talking shit. And I've, even in, actually in person, I've actually had a few people actually ask me what cycle I'm on, even though I had no idea at the time what a cycle was. And then the person explained to me what, what that was because they were on steroids. I was like, oh, gotcha, right. So I'm just gonna come right out and say it. People who claim to be in the fitness industry or fitness communities or active in these communities and have businesses run in the field of fitness and yet they take steroids themselves, whether they admit openly to take steroids or they're fake naturals, whatever the case may be, these people who do take steroids and are in fitness, I must say, are technically not in fitness. As soon as a person decides to take a needle in the ass to enhance their performance or their physique, or whatever the case may be, that person has automatically jumped into fake fitness. Now I know that sounds harsh because a lot of people are gonna say things like, oh, well, it's their choice and it's their body and they can do whatever they want. I agree, yeah, they can absolutely do it. I'm just saying, call a spade a spade when you see it. And that individual is taking a shortcut. Now by no means am I saying that someone who is on steroids can't be a wealth of knowledge or have some type of knowledge in regards to the topic of fitness or anything that can actually roll over or correlates to actual natural fitness. I'm just saying that that individual themselves is uh, a fake person in fitness. That person decided to take a shortcut because they were unwilling to pay the price to get to a natural level of strength or to a uh, a better physique naturally. They'd rather just stick a needle in their ass so that they could get to that next level. I've heard that excuse so many times from these power lifters and whatnot and saying, well, I took steroids because, uh, you know, I, was really, I just want to push my body to that next level. Hey, fucking newsflash, fuckface. You didn't have to stick the needle in your ass. Now, that person, I'll tell you right now, would probably never get to that strength level that they're at. And I'm gonna use a person, for example, such as Larry Wheels. This, this individual, the, the amounts of weights that this guy pushes and pulls and all that stuff, would never be able to lift the amount of weights that he's lifting without the steroids. And I'm not trying to say that this person isn't working hard or putting in the effort. If, if we're measuring effort or uh, work ethic or whatever, you can work just as hard if you're not on steroids. I'm not saying you're gonna be able to lift the same amount of weight, but I'm saying you can put in about the same amount of time. Now you're gonna recover faster on steroids. Like I said, you're gonna get a whole bunch of benefits strength-wise in regards to steroids. But again, it's a shortcut. It's not natural. I just really don't understand this perception that's been pushed by the media that you have to be the biggest and the strongest ever and all this other crap. When you can do not as much, obviously, naturally, you're because you're, you've got the help of fucking anabolics if you're, if you're taking a needle in the ass. I'm just saying, but you could still do very impressive stuff if you're willing to put in the work naturally. But let me also add that I wholeheartedly love strongman competitions and all that stuff. I think they're incredible to watch and they're extremely fun to watch. And I am very aware that all these incredible human beings that do these incredible feats of strength are on steroids and a number of other, God knows how many freaking things and synthetic stuff that they're putting into their body. God, I, I understand that. But I must also say, if these individuals were natural, I guarantee that I and everyone else would enjoy it just as much. And again, of course, if these people were natural, they wouldn't be lifting the same amount of weights and doing these 
absolutely incredible feats of strength, but nonetheless, it would still be incredible because these people are natural. What's wrong with pushing your body naturally and seeing what you can get out of it? And of course, not to add that it also fucks up your health, but nonetheless, who am I to tell another person to not fuck up their health? If somebody wants to fucking jack their health up, they have every single right to do so. Even though I wish they wouldn't, they have a right to do so. For some reason, when I say things like that to you, it seems to piss some people off. I don't understand. Don't people believe that everyone has a right to do what they want as long as they're not infringing upon other individuals? It's something I don't really get that point. You wanna kill yourself, you can kill yourself. But as I said, I wish you wouldn't. But who am I to tell you what to do? So have at it, dude. Now I must say, your boy here does take five grams of creatine every single day. So maybe I'm taking a shortcut to you but I'll let you be the judge of that. What is the take home message here? If you're on steroids, that being TRT or some black market shit or whatever it is that you're taking, you are not a part of fitness. Please do not claim to be a part of fitness. What you are is a part of fake fitness because everything that you have acquired from taking steroids, any type of strength gains or any type of aesthetic goals that you've achieved or are achieving is solely because you took steroids and you put time in the gym. That's it. Or time in whatever field that you were doing. You took a shortcut. Just accept it. What's so hard with being honest and just saying that hey, you took a fucking shortcut. That's it. Even though you want to claim that, oh, you still put in work. Again, you didn't have to take the fucking steroids. Now, if that pisses you off, I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. But it's the fucking truth. Again, call a spade a fucking spade. Stay natural. Don't take shortcuts. Be honest to yourself. I think that about sums it up. So that's about it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Please let me know what you think in the comment sections down below. As you know, I love to engage with all of you in regards to this very, very controversial topic. Please know that I appreciate every single one of you, whether you're fake natty, natural, taking steroids and openly admitted, whatever the case may be, I appreciate every single one of you. Please feel free to rate, subscribe, and hit the ding dong button if you haven't already. You guys know who I am. I'm the natural. So I want to thank you for watching. And please stay tuned for the next one.